how to remove microantivirus or other commonly infection, common infections. A program that we like to use here is called the VAST antivirus. This program is chosen because it's a freeware program that is relatively uh, lightweight and not taxing on your system resources, as well as it has advanced removal features that most programs lack. So what we're gonna do is we have this program installed already. So we're gonna click on the Avast icon. We're gonna get the loading screen here. And what it's doing right now is it's testing everything that's currently running in the background on our computer. So if there's a virus that's already loaded and running, it'll help detect it. Once this is done, it'll actually let us interact with the program and run manual scans. So now the memory scan is complete. The first time you load the program, you'll get this simple user interface, which is a walkthrough or how-to on how to use the program itself. I'm already familiar with it, so I'm going to just click don't show this message again, and then I'm going to X the window out. Now this is the user interface of the Avast program. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure the program is up to date. So we're going to click the little eject button up on the top left, and we're going to go down to updating. We're going to tell the program to do a program update. It's going to connect online to the VAST servers and get the most recent definitions available for the program. Once you have those, you'll get an installation progress menu. And once that's complete, it'll show you a summary. Now we can click close. Avast might also prompt to restart your computer after installing updates if it was updated enough. This time it is only a minor update and we were uh, the last definition database we had was from the prior day. So now that we've got the program installed, the first thing and most, most effective uh, cleaning method is to schedule what's called a boot time scan. So we're gonna go to the main menu and go to the option that says schedule boot time scan. Once in there, we're gonna tell it to scan all local hard drives. We also want it to scan archive files. And under, we're gonna check the advanced options tab. And we're gonna click where it says ask for option, ask for action and click delete infected file. In the second box below, we don't need it to confirm with each file. We're going to tell it to allow delete or move automatically. It's going to give us a warning letting us know that automatically changing system files could be harmful. We're going to click OK to that. We trust this program to make the right choice. It's going to tell us we need to restart the computer in order to do a uh, boot time scan. We're going to allow it to restart the computer and it'll go through and it'll restart and a vast will load prior to Windows. It'll then start doing a virus scan, deleting any infections that are found. Once that's scan done, I would review the files deleted and verify that everything was removed successfully. If there were any issues with deleting any viruses, contact a professional or seek, seek professional assistance in repairing the computer.